Now you told us about all of these people that were members of CMB. In terms of their membership, were they all during the same period or did some overlap because of different reasons? I don't understand the question. Okay, so you told us about all of these members of CMB. Were these members always the members? Oh, I guess let me ask it in a different way. You said you were a member for 10 years or so? Yes. It was beginning in 1991? Yes. And you told us some people were there in the beginning, as you say, some people that were there later on. So did the membership change over time? Yes. What can you tell us about how World led the CMB? What kind of leader was he? He was someone that was there. He was there for us. He was, he taught a lot of us things. He taught a lot of us, especially the younger ones, how to do things. And he was like the overseer, like he was a controller, like he was on top. I'm going to put the map up again, Government Exhibit 101. And you told us that in 433, eBay, KB, Trouble, and you lived so far. Did anyone else in CMB live there? Yes. Who was that? Popsy, Tion, and DJ, Miss Bunny. What floor was Miss Bunny on? 16. Where did Boo live? Like 17. No, I believe it was 17. I might be wrong. I think it was 17. Was that in 433 as well? Yes, it was. Okay. Now, where did... Did World and Wise live in the same place early on? Yes, they did. Where was that? 325 Classen Avenue. Can you tell us where that is on the map, please? All right, so you've indicated it's on Classen Avenue. And looking at this map, is there a precinct anywhere near Lafayette Gardens that you will be able to see on this map? No, I don't see the precinct. Where's the closest precinct located? It would be right across the street from 325. And what precinct is that? Oh, the 80th precinct. Does that precinct cover Lafayette Gardens? Yes, it did. Now, did you call one of the, in terms of how you all refer to the Lafayette Gardens, did you call one side of it the front and one the back? Yes. Can you tell us about that? Well, the back was located where I lived, and it was located behind 411 and 415, so we consider the back 433 and 470. And you told us before that 470 is on the top right part of this map? Yes. And in terms of, did you know something called the Strip? Yes, I did. What was the Strip? It was, the strip was considered like behind 470, but in the lane of 433. Can you point out or draw us a line of where the strip was more or less? In terms of selling drugs in Lafayette Gardens, was there one place that was more profitable than another? Yes. Where was it more profitable? 433. Would that be inside the building or on the strip? No, inside the building. What were the advantages of selling the drugs inside the building? The advantages of selling drugs inside the building was, the advantages that you have selling inside the building is it was like you had shelter, like territory. It was like someone can always find you there. I'm going to show you Government Exhibit 108A already in evidence. Can you tell us what that depicts? I don't understand the question. Do you know where, what is shown in 108A? What's that a picture of? Yes. What is it? That's the strip. What about 108D? That's the strip considering it's the back of the parking lot and the front of 433. So the building we're looking at in this photo is 433? Yes, it is. How far did you go in school? until 11th grade. And what happened in the 11th grade that caused you to stop going to school? 
Oh, I stopped going to school in the 11th grade because I had an altercation with a few people that stopped me from going to school. What kind of altercation? A friend of mine's was beaten and robbed, so I left school and got a gun and I shot into a crowd. How many people were in the crowd? About seven or eight. Why did you shoot into that crowd? I was frustrated. I was angry. My girlfriend, like I said, she was a friend of mine. She was jumped and beaten and she was robbed. Were the people that you suspected of doing that in the group? Yes, they was. And do you know after you shot into the crowd that anybody got hit? Yes, I do. Who got hit? A girl and a guy. Did they survive? Yes, they did. Is that the first crime you ever committed? No, it wasn't. Can you tell us about some of the first crimes you committed? First crime I committed, I think I was joyriding in a stolen car with a gun inside it. How old were you? Fifteen. Did you get arrested for that? Yes, I did. Did you get arrested, by the way, for the shooting into a crowd at the school? No, I didn't. What about other crimes that you committed before that? I committed robberies because that's what I was, a robber. And when you say robberies, what kind of robberies are we talking about? Robberies, like without a weapon, robberies with a weapon, committed robberies in Midtown Manhattan. It was called like strong arm robberies, like digging pockets. Digging pockets, meaning going into pockets and taking what you want out of it? Yes. Who did you do that with early on? I did that with numerous people. Were any of them ultimately in CMB? Yes. Who was that? Wise. How about anybody else in 433 that you used to pick pockets with? Oh, yes. Who is that? Me, Mikey, Hedo, and Peanut. And who is Peanut? Peanut was a friend of mine. Do you know his real name? Yes. What's his real name? Henry Davis. And you said he grew up in 433? Yes, he did. What floor did he grow up in compared to where you lived? He lived right under me. You told us also about robberies with a weapon? Yes. How did you use a weapon at the robberies? I used to pull out the weapon and announce that it was a robbery, you know, a stick up, and I used to pickpocket. How old were you when you were doing the robberies we're talking about? 16 or 17. Did you ever shoot or hurt anybody during the robberies? No, I didn't. How about stealing? Did you ever steal? Yes, I did. What kind of stealing? I stole clothes. So you told us about guns that you used when you were 15, 16, 17. How many guns would you say that you had during that time? I think three and four. Where were you getting them from? You know, off the street and different older guys or, you know, people that use drugs I bought them from. And this is all before CMB was formed? Yes, it was. Before CMB was formed, did you also sell drugs? Yes, I did. What years are we talking about? 1987, 1988. Where did you sell them? In bed around the corner from Algae. Was there a place that you called it? Yes, there was. What was it called? It was called Algae Game Room. What was the LG game room? It was an arcade. Most of the younger guys played video games in there. We hung out in and out of there and we sold narcotics in there. Around the time that you were selling drugs in the game room, were you able to see what was happening in Lafayette Gardens in terms of drug dealing? Oh, yes, I was. What was happening? You know, the older guys were selling in and out of the projects, so you know they were controlling the area. 
you know, we were younger. We couldn't just sell drugs there. You know, we were young and didn't have a say in the territory. Who were the people that were controlling at that time? Oh, um, it was the Hamiltons. They were in charge. Who were some of the Hamiltons? You had Ulysses, you had Junior, you had Ponch, you had Butch, you had different people. And did they have, where are they from? Where did they grow up? Same building as me. Did you know people to have worked for them as well, just like the CMB had back then? Oh yes, they had workers. Did you know a person by the name of Supreme? Oh yes, I did. Who was that? He was an older guy, very kind of like he was close to them. He showed guidance in the hood, guidance amongst a lot of the younger guys. He was like their worker or their lieutenant or their buddy. Were you ever able to sell drugs in Lafayette Gardens while the Hamiltons were in control? Yes, I was. How did that happen? I went from selling drugs in LG Game Room to going out of town meaning I left out of state, and when that took place, I came back in town and I was able to sell drugs in 433 because I was from that building. I was young, but I was wild, and I was known in the community, so I was able to basically sell drugs in the building. Okay, I'm going to... Before you went out of town, when you say go out of town, what does that mean? I went to New London, Connecticut. Before that, did you have any problem with anybody in and around Lafayette Gardens? No. Did you know a person by the name of Forever? Yes, I do. What happened with Forever, if anything? Forever, him and his friend, they had stuck up a friend of mine's once or twice. Did you do anything to retaliate for that? Yes, I did. What did you do? Me and Wise shot at them. What year more or less did that happen? 1989. All right. Now, when you say you went to New London, Connecticut, why would you go to New London, Connecticut? I went to New London, Connecticut to get away from New York to make more money for the currency of selling crack cocaine. Was there any other reason? Yes. What was that? I was on the run for robberies. When you say that you were on the run, what does that mean? I chose not to go back to court for sentencing. So you had been arrested? Yes, I was. How many robberies were you arrested for by the time you went out of town to New London? Two or three. How many do you think you committed around that time? About 30 or 40. Who did you go to New London, Connecticut with? I went to New London, Connecticut with Wise, Mikey, and Hedo. Now, you talked about Hedo. Is Hedo related to anybody who is in CMB, if you know? No, he's not. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Who is that? He's related to Thor. Thor? Yes. When you were out of town in New London, where did you get drugs to sell? Well, first of all, did you sell drugs? Yes, I did. Where did you get the drugs to sell? I got them from Myron Hardy, my boss. Did you stay out there or did you come back and forth to Lafayette Gardens? I came back and forth. Did there come a time that you were ultimately caught by the police for your robberies? Yes, I was. When did that happen? March 5th, 1989. On March 5th, 1989, when you were arrested, where were you? I was in 433 Lafayette in my mom's house. And the police came to the house? Yes, they did. After that, did you go to jail? Yes, I did. How long did you serve? Two to six years at the state correctional facility. So two is the minimum and six is the maximum? Yes. Did you serve all six? No, I didn't. How many did you serve? How many years? Two. 
when did you get out? 18 months into the two-year program, I was sent to a halfway house. So that's around 1990? Yes, it was. And when you got out into the halfway house, how old were you? 19. Did you hang out with anybody at that time that was ultimately in CMB? Yes, I was. Who? Damien Hardy. World? Yes, I did. At this point, how old was World? He might have been 15, 16. Did you speak to him about any plans he had for the future? Yes. What kind of plans did he have? The plans of, you know, getting older, getting large, blowing up. What does that mean? You know, that means like being like successful in the drug trade, being, you know, a drug lord, a kingpin. Did you have plans around that time? Yes, I did. What were your plans? To try to get to school, go to work with my dad. Did you do, did you work with your dad for a little while? Yes, I did. Did you change your plan? Yes, I did. What happened? I stopped going to work with my dad, which I was doing as a parking attendant, and I started going into Annapolis, Maryland. Why did you go to Annapolis, Maryland? I went to Annapolis, Maryland to sell crack, crack cocaine. To sell crack cocaine? Yes, I did. All right. So who did you go out of town with to Annapolis, Maryland at that point? With Peanut. I'm wondering if the government will pick a convenient time for a break this morning. If you want a break, if you think it's a convenient time, it's about the time we take our morning break. That's fine with me. All right, we'll take 15 minutes. Don't talk about the case.